Frederick Layton came to the production of sculpture only in the middle of his career. He was in his late 40s when he exhibited athletes struggling with a python at the Royal Academy of 1877. And while he was only to go on and make two further pieces of sculpture for exhibition, the impact and influence of these pieces was out of proportion to the number of pieces of sculpture he produced. And he came to be seen as a key figure, a key inspiration in what became the new sculpture movement. And what was so significant about it was its break with the academic tradition to create something that was more natural, more realistic and contained within it this extraordinary vitality and dynamism as the interaction between the athlete and the snake. He had worked on sculpture and made little maquettes, modellos, as, as assistants in the production of his paintings. The origins of the athlete struggling with the python seem to have been a little modello that he made really out of interest while he was working on his painting the Daphnophoria. When it was seen in his studio and admired by others that the idea that it should actually be worked through and developed into a piece of sculpture in its own right uh, came about. And so Leighton engaged the assistance of Thomas Brock and Brock uh, rented out his studio and provided some advice to Leighton who was a complete novice in, in the sense of how to technically go about producing a life-size piece uh, uh, of sculpture. What made this sculpture really quite radical was uh, that it is not a classical subject and it neither does it have that kind of the deadness that comes perhaps with academic, some academic sculpture. The, it is all about the vibrancy, the life, the interaction, this um, the extraordinary interaction between the snake as it curls itself around the figure um, and the particular tension um, as the arm is thrust out to keep the head and mouth of the snake at a distance. While Leighton was not prolific in any sense in his sculptural activity, it did have an influence. And the uh, sculptor uh, Alfred Gilbert was to say that after Leighton died, that everything he had achieved as a sculptor, he felt he owed to Leighton.